Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Radius mod Trivia campaign. We pick things up for episode 6 from turn 21 in the harvest season of 194. So, after 5 episodes, we are finally getting to the point where we can set up some vassals with our relatives to gain some splendor. But first, we have a lot of war. A lot of fighting on hand. I'm still going to give him more health because I think... Increase health translate to more units actually Right you see how much damage they can withstand armor melee vision range block up. Yep but, but basically I think the more health we have the more cavalry unit we have per um, Bodyguard unit basically so I'm gonna just try to boost that uh, We're setting up an ambush for them over here. We are not interested in any of the generals we have a little bit of cash. Maybe that's an understatement. Uh, we have quite a bit of cash. We have uh, Simon activated. I think I'm going to hang on to this just because it gives a nice 8% uh, experience gain for the whole faction. And instead, we'll just try to upgrade this until we have more building slots for these. We are, you know, playing the tax game, which, you know, not everyone enjoys. It definitely doesn't help our Imperial favor, which we need to remember to boost. Uh, but. It's kind of strange. The Emperor came of age in 192 with the Radius mod instead of, you know, 197. And there's also this, you know, constant decay of Imperial favor. So it's almost like impossible to keep it high unless we're running like a tight ship in terms of food surplus and public order. Um, it also seems like public order is still granting positive reward, which is strange because I know the recent 1.7.1 got rid of that. It feels like the mod is overriding that change because I know you can still lose points for negative public order, but you're not going to gain any for positive. And it's also kind of strange that we would actually, I mean, we have one that's 100. That's the one that's kind of, you know, boosting us in terms of this. We have a really good administrator for that job uh, who's going to leave that job soon. So it's going to be hard for us to maintain our uh, Imperial favor and I'm okay with that. Uh, we're just not gonna damage it any farther. We're gonna limit that We're gonna not fight Han factions mainly focus on Naman factions and That's pretty much it for this turn despite having a lot of cash. There is not much we can build We're missing reforms which comes every other turn. So that's relatively quick, but let's continue for now oh, Lady Jerome declared war on us too. I mean we kind of expected this Okay. Seems like Liu Bei, Cao Cao, and Yuan Shao are all in this big coalition. Tax collector attack. We lost 500. Just a random event. Um, these bounce back. Am I worried about the garrison? A little. Not gonna say I'm not worried. But I think it's more important that we come and wipe this off. No one has reach, so I guess it doesn't really matter who's leading this. We will be able to reach it next turn. This kind of prevents a two-front war. Um, the elephant actually provides a siege weapon to attack the town, but the garrison is decent enough, I hope. He's healing up here, no problem. We'll be taking this. I hope this low is going to be actually low. Yep, 38 casualties. We can definitely accept that. Only one point of Imperial favor lost. Although I'm pretty sure we're going to lose more when we attack that salt mine because we will attack that salt mine. Now we're going to get ourselves out of the commandery because we actually want to assign some administrators here. So we know that he is in the army here. Oh, I see him now. Yeah, this is the awkward part. So I think I'm going to do the fight first just to take the Dianning Iron Mine over. And then either try to peace out with him at that point due to maybe some sort of army loss on his part just to pause the war with him. So we can focus on one or two factions first because I want to switch. Yeah, well, let's do this first. This is this is pretty much the most important thing here. Do we care about capturing them? I guess it never hurts. He doesn't have any capture rate, though. Oh, none of them do. Oh, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. All right, we'll just get this fight out first. 
It's not going to be an easy fight, right? They have a lot of men, and we're not even that favored this time. But they're stuck inside an iron mine, which is definitely to our advantage. So let's just fight this one first. Alright, there's a really good chance they charge out. And I want to limit how they can approach us, so I think fighting somewhere like this is advantageous to us. Like we would like to tilt more this way, because they can't really approach us from the wall, right? Um, that shrub is not going to be burning ourselves. I think he's level 6, I think I can actually upgrade these to like better units than the spear guards. I'm actually curious how much level they will gain in this one battle. they'll eventually come out. I'm gonna burn down a few towers first. Yeah, I'm sure the misses will hit the tower. That one didn't hit, but still. These are level 10 already, so accuracy is way up. So close to missing on that one. There we go. Alright, now that's also burning. Okay, all the towers are down. It looks like they're still not charging at us, but they might change their tune. A, a few shots into them might change their mind. Look like we're starting to get settlement damage on them too. That might be a shot too hard to hit. Oh no. The elevation, you know, reduces your actual range, so what's being displayed is not accurate, but that looks still fine. Are they really not interested in coming out? I mean, I got 22 more shots. I guess we'll focus the range units, like usual, and then overpower them with the rest. The angle is really bad. Maybe we want to go to the front, and this is when they charge out. I mean, that would be smart. Provide some support. Actually, don't we outrange them? Right, we outrange all their units. No, they should have one fire archer somewhere. I don't know where, but they should have one. From the garrison. Even though, you know, no one has the Yunnan tribe except for Lady Jurong, but somehow every faction can recruit those because, you know, this is a radius mod. Now, where are those uh, fire archers? Right there. Yeah, 185. They outrange us. But they're like the only one.
Do we want to move up with these? I guess we can. Up to a certain point. Like, I wouldn't want to really extend them that far into the enemy territory. There's, like, no benefits. I guess we'll just go for maximum damage, 20 shots. Because it's not like I can wipe out that fire archer, so... We're just going to entice them to come out and fight us. By the way, when they do route, they have to run that way, and uh, you guys know what will happen then. He's at 63k. Friend boost. Lost about 10k health. Actually, no. They're gonna bounce back, right? They're gonna go back to positive. But then... But then... Ah, uh, we, we mistimed it. But then we could have burned them a little bit more. How many shots do we have left? 60. Oh, we have so many left. Okay. I thought we were running out. He's at 49k. Uh, it's not worth it. We can try this. It's a high shot. We might fall short. Oh, looks like they are going for it. Let's see the effect. A uh, couple fell short, but we got some good contact there. Aim a little deeper. Mm, it's just not very effective. Feels like we have to move our infantry up. They're not going to really give us the chance to fight them when they charge out. We'll soften up what they have. This is a hard angle to shoot at. I'm gonna ignore that one. Yeah, I think most of their range units are not available now. At least they're not in the lower level of this 
So we'll just try to soften these up. Should be difficult, but maybe we can. I think that one's gonna route, yep. Alright, we're almost out. He's actually moving down. little shower give them a little range block chance hmm they're starting to fire but angle is not great as we can see here Front gate area. That might be a recipe for disaster. It might be friendly fire disaster right there. I think they'll send more up to the front. Okay, we're melting the ones with shield too. Somehow he has 42% range block chance. He's actually running out of ammo. Too much fire here. Oh, 
走起来，速速前进，快快快，赶快赶快！Uh, focus on your own targets. Yeah, the strange animation with the range targeting, it's really weird, but it's working really well in elevation. This is, I think, I don't even know what's changing this. Because when we do vanilla, it doesn't shoot like this. Like the range got changed, right? In vanilla, it's 150. Here's 110, but like it's shooting out extra far. It's kind of weird. But we like it. It's working really well. Actually, no, we'll just have the turtle clog up the lane. Because they still have fire archers. Engage in combat. Save some ammo. Maybe they should have turtled to prevent the friendly fire. Let me borrow one of you guys. They're technically our best anti-infantry option here. I mean, they lose all melee charge bonus when they come at us like this. They lose attack rate. Go, go, go! Pull back! Intercept these units. No, 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 don't chase that way. Up that hole. I mean, I would like them to blow one more fire at the enemy generals, but it's too tight up there. Like, if we go up. We're not going to have all four machines working together. I could also target hit one of these locations here and just wipe them out instantly. Alright, let's do that actually. Oh, we got their fire archer's attention. Alright, watch us pinpoint a target here. I don't know why this Juggernaut's still moving, no one's controlling it. The Phantom Juggernaut. Alright, you guys are done. Get back. Alright, 
行进，速速前进，持之以炽，射杀敌军。Go go go, cavalry charge！ 加快脚步，徒手准备，长剑，装好剑，做好准备，准备好了。Have two fire archers. Ow. I'll go this way. They're dying. Clean it up. All right, they're done. All right, slow and steady siege. Got the job done here. Yeah, I think both the radius mod and Rutgers mode kind of slow down fights. What level is it? Level three. Okay. Do you guys want peace right now? Close. I give you one food. I mean, the reason why we would want this piece is just so that we don't have to get attacked by him here, and we can kind of reposition our army around. We're still in a war with Lady Jurong, so we can send our army down. There's still fights for us, like on our terms. These bows are really useless on records mode because it doesn't actually give you any sort of. Oh. Uh... <laughs> uh, still useless bows. I, I'm still gonna trade them away. Just we are not gonna get much money, but at least we don't waste any points. All right, so we're piecing out with them. We're gonna send the army down over here. I can start shifting him off. So the first idea is I don't want him to take any items with us away from us. He can take the units with him. I don't mind that. Um, I'm going to reassign him. He's on the field, so we can do the reassign trick. He's currently in Hepu. So we're going to come over here, dismiss him, go to Gao Liang, reassign him. He is our brother, so it should be fine. He'll be part of the family. So we go to here. What? Are they kidding me? They modded this out. They modded out Grant Family Independence. That is so dumb. Why would you remove that from the base game when that's Shizia's entire faction mechanic? That is so stupid. Huh, okay. I mean, then, then we can't do it. Then the only thing we can do is like find a female general, grant her independence, then marry one of our family to them to make them our family too. It, it's definitely doable. Like we can use her. She even has an item. But that is also extremely silly, isn't it? That we have to take this extra step. Yeah, she's not married. I can't even marry her beforehand because then she'll be part of the family again and we can't do that if she's part of the family. Yeah, that is very dumb. Anyhow, 
What's his happiness? 62. I can just remove him from the army and the office. Keep it both open. And work from there. He's on assignment, isn't he? Like, we could use a, a, a cavalry commander here. Call him back. No one's healing in this commandery anyways. Right, we'll do that swap. Next turn, then. Yeah, I don't understand why the mod changed that. Okay, I mean, anyways, we'll deal with it. Let's continue. Alright, Mulu is suiciding into a... Yeah, sure, I mean, if he wants. There's always a chance he can drop his mount. Hand me that gold elephant. Which I think in record mode doesn't do much, but still nice to have. A sneaky chief? Nope, pass. Ooh, level 8. 10% armor for himself. No, faction wide, plus one rank. Now, are we just gaining two points? Yeah, I think we're gaining two points after like certain level where we just get two skill points. That way we get the full skill tree at the end. I think that's what's going on. I mean, our unit went from level one to level five and six in one battle. All right. Time to play around with a few things. First things first, he's gonna be removed from office. We're going to put her in. Wait, not in her pool. Wait, why can't I put him in? What? Okay, it just wasn't available on the menu. Going for the... Hold on, I'm gonna siege that. I'm not gonna actually take it, because then he'll get, she'll get both of them. No, I can't... Oh, no, 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 no. We can do family. I'm silly. I can't grant it because the flag is still there. And the flag is still there because that faction is still there. Right, that's what's going on. I also can't give away Jin because Jin's still on the map. Okay. So I have to destroy the faction first. I'm being silly. Because it doesn't make sense for them to patch out, you know, just one component of it. I'll just have to trade it for it back, I guess. I have to also wipe out the faction first. They're going to take that. We can take... Yeah, okay. All right, never mind. It's not as bad as I thought it was. I'm just being silly here. We have so much cash. Alright, so apparently these are house guards. A little different than heavy spear guards. Because they have a ranged javelin on them. Awesome. But no turtle formation. That's not good. And that's not really an upgrade. Nanyue Spearmen. Spear Guards, 54 morale, 103k. 28. Okay, better damage. Not... Yeah, better evasion, better armor. Well, straight up armor is better. Range block chance straight up is better. Anti cab is better. Yeah, this is an upgrade for sure. And they still have turtle. But what happened to heavy spear guards? I still quite like these guys. We're gonna swap you out. Yes, he gets along with the rest of them. Father for son, this is the son. 
So he's level 3, he has access to Lance Cavalry straight up. But I think Mounted Militia is decent enough for now. Until we get something more spicy. Alright, we're gonna have to sit here for a little bit. Which is fine, wait for her to show up. Is she a threat? Sort of? We can withstand a couple turns sieging. So I can always turn around. We can probably also ask them for a peace deal. Right. Pretty aggressive peace deal. They only have one town. Because I have to focus on wiping this out first. They have only one town left as well. They have an armor. They're not going to pay that much food, so we might as well grab the armor. Not that much money to probably grab the armor. Come on. There we go. They're down to one territory. They can buffer for us a little bit. I think it's like five turns after peace deal. We can't go to war, a little we lose credibility. Ooh, capture rates. Or reach. I think we'll take the reach actually. Because he's got the capture rate already. Yeah, how did he get impure? Oh, this is probably not available to our faction. Right. Yeah, now we might actually care about the armor value of the armors because the entire cavalry unit is going to get it. Now we can focus on them. I'm sure we can declare a war on them soon. We still can't give away the commandery. Oh, but we finished that mission. Not that we need the money. I'm not going to peace out with them. If they take the fishing port... Oh, the value is so high, though. This value is definitely skewed by the mod. It's not normal to be this high. I mean, I want to wipe them so I can make my own faction. Their faction. And the turn that we make their faction, we can see all the items they have. We can even trade for those, too. Same thing with Jiljin, because we'll be basically reviving a faction. Anyone has movement? No. Oh, he actually... Oh, yeah, we're fine then. We should be able to reach that next turn, I hope. No, let's not mark any missions. So, perceptive, patience, double check marks there. Yeah, we don't have any suitable candidates right now for that. No, we're giving most of these away, so I'm not going to upgrade that. I want this to be a small city. Children. We're going to give this away in the future too. Okay, still a ton of money. Is he in the army? Yes. That means I can flip him. Wait, why can't I select my own army? Why, why give me this option if I can't do it?
All right, make them fatigued. I might not have enough points to extract him, or at least flip him onto the field. Wait, I can make him leave. Wait, wait they changed it to 28? Why did the mod do this? What's the point of that? Instead of 30? I mean, I wanted him to just leave. And then he can flip, and then it would just be him fighting this, giving us a chance. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to retake it. He is pretty mad, but don't worry, you're going to get your job back. For this turn, you can be a senior officer. Alright, we're good. Let's continue. Alright, he's coming. We can't recall him, so this is just what it is. They can take it. Huh, got a free item. Architect, not bad. No one really stands out. I mean, Cao Xu, not him, um, first one actually. Yang Yan with pacifist and local hero. He could be a decent administrator. Is he is he willing to spy? Is he okay? So he's safe. We'll keep him in mind if we ever need a administrator. No one has items. Okay. All right, we can do this first, perhaps. No, I'm not interested in that. We'll do this. Angry? No, she's going away. Okay, we're gonna wait till she goes away and then see if they offer me something else. And I know she's going away because we are finishing them up here. Oh, we can't reach them. Very annoyed. Wow, everyone has a, a ton of armies. Theme that that's like the theme of this uh, this mod. This is a multiple day journey because we gotta cross that river. Let's cross that river now. Yeah, we trespass, but so what? Ambush for a feet for like one more turn. Just give them one more turn mustering. Waiting for that. Swinsa is coming down. Yeah, we saw that coming. We get a reform. What do we want? We got our heavy repeating crossbowmen. We probably should resume our journey towards just the silk. Ah, they changed this value from minus 20% discount to minus 10%. Interesting. And this is changed from minus 8% to minus 5%. And this is from 3k to 4k. What are they doing? Why, why such small tweaks? Alright, I'll take that one. Help me with my public order a little bit as well. Yeah, these two are the two that I don't want to really do anything to. So I, I can't actually remove her. They changed this one. The public order is no longer an issue, so they no longer offer us a public issue, public order option. They can give him 10% movement. It's not terrible, actually, given that we're going to a heavily forested area. It is kind of pricey, but we have a lot of money. Alright, let's do that. I have 8,000 on us. I think three army right now is fine. I don't think we need a fourth one. When is our deal with Shamoko ending? Four turns. So he's not going to do anything to us for now. We're offering him food. We haven't officially met him, so double clicking doesn't pull him up. If he wants to go to war with us, I am fine with that. See Nia as well. Meng Huo, we just signed a peace deal. We're waiting for her to peek out or we'll go down once we're ready. 
yeah, looks pretty good. Let's uh, continue. Sun Tzu wants a coalition. I'm actually okay with this. I mean, I don't know if I want to fight him. I just want to develop the south for now. I'm guessing he has a ton of cash too. I'm guessing all the faction have a ton of cash with this mod. That's why they have so many armies. Yeah, a thousand's nothing. The trade is worth, you know, 8606 per turn. Secure our relationship with Sun Tzu for now. We can always try to marry his sister into the family. He's huge! Oh, we got Lady Zhurong's army to pop out over here. A bunch of nobodies. I think we'll just delegate. Oh, no, we can't. Pyrrhic victory. What do they have? Oh, they have an elephant. A southern elephant. How does she have one of these? Right? What happened to the recruitment rules? Anyways, let's fight. All right, we're ambushing in the Naman land, and there's actually no forest. What kind of magic is this? Uh, anyhow, I don't mind it, because... I think we can have a perfect setup where we just like wipe out their elephant at the beginning before they can even turn on us by doing this. Mm, preferably we want to tilt our units a little bit, but then that tree kind of gets in the way. Like what if they don't fire at the elephant first, which is very possible. I guess I could give them that command. Yeah, like all attacks gonna come from this side. We can suppression people. Actually, we're gonna spread them out. We'll go clean up from the side. It's not like we can actually charge out into um, all the fire we're gonna be throwing out there. They're gonna do their own thing. Maybe I will send two to like charge into this at the beginning. I kind of want him to just pick up his own target. Oh, he got it. Never mind. He he turned. He twisted. Fire? What are they doing? Oh, there we go. Of course, we just don't hit the elephant. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Okay, the elephant, elephants killing themselves. Go, 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 go this way. Okay, maybe I deployed you guys a little bit too far. Give these guys some armor, pull them out. Should have given them the extra charge resistance a little bit earlier. Hello. Mm. 
Yeah, that was uh, that was quick and easy. Yeah, the elephant's still a little tricky to deal with. Hopefully, we capture the general with the elephant. Love to have one myself. Come on. Hello, 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 hello. You got the elephant. And eh, don't care about you. Alright, our spy wants to be extracted. He's doing a fight. We can actually extract him. We will. The whole idea is to weaken them so we can delegate the win. Uh, yeah, there's no more opponents nearby, so there'll be no more fighting after this. He put an administrator? How did he have double... Oh, he summoned a new army. It's not an administrator. I think we should fight this. I don't want to take medium damage. Alrighty. Terrain feels pretty good for what we have. We don't have any juggernauts in this army. Which is kind of a shame. Those things are too much fun. Uh, can we do... Up. Right. I mean, it's wide open planes. They can feel free to come whenever they want. I do want to track them to like the center of the field. So maybe if I put arc my cavalry over. Actually, why don't I bring all four of them? That way we can kind of peel them out of the forest into the middle here. So I don't have to twist my main formations around. Mercenary archers. Wow, 215 range? They definitely didn't nerf their range. That's still super high. Here they come. Pound them. Give them a little flank pressure. See if the AI even cares about that. Looks like maybe not. Somehow I feel like the archer is going to come answer us. They're going to be like, we can actually hit them. All right, they're waiting for the reinforcement army. And we get so many extra shots as long as they're waiting. Well, there's so many archers. There's that second way behind. We can't get like a clean hit and run, I somehow. I don't think we can. Oh, yep, we got attention of one archer. Ah, uh, you kind of are out of position now. Away. See if we can pull another unit. We're taking a lot of damage though from the other archers, but we're buying time. Oh, they're coming. The, the straight line of archer chasing us. I think they're definitely out of position now. They're pretty much lined up straight. Charge! Mm -hmm. 
Charge. The generals are using swords. We are using spears. Alright, we basically suppress them so that even when they hit my front line, no damage basically. I could provide a little bit of range protection for everyone here. Maybe a little bit this way. Oh, they're sending spears. Okay. New target. Ah, uh, they bumped into a spear unit. That one might be dead. Let's see if we can pull this one out. Might be super difficult. Oh, that general died. March them up. Go kill, kill. It's probably not wise, but given that we're already stuck here, might as well deal the damage. I'm trying to peel out all the crossbowmen to kill the enemy generals. Break the formation. Oh! Never mind. We got this. Actually, pull back now. If the spear broke, we can probably get out of there. Is anyone unbreakable? No. Okay. Get out. Get out. Get out. It's a command. Go to work now. He's going to lose all his charge instantly. Pull back a little bit. Get them! Jamajian's here. Drop them off the horse. Or let them get scared and run away. Alright, obviously we would love to have better cavalry units, but he's not high enough level yet. Oh, we caught all three. Dong Bai, and also a burn officer. Dong Ru Lian Yi. Kan Ya Ta Men, Zhi Neng Xiao Hao Wo Jun Zi. Wo Deng Fei Man Yi. I'll take money. Fang Le Ba. Alrighty. They're busy up north. We just entered into a coalition with Sun Ce and noticed that Sun Ce is gigantic. What the heck? How did he get so big so quickly? Cao Cao is also kind of big. He's also touching the Yanzi River already, but nothing like Sun Ce here. Alright, I do want to set up, you know, our first 
vassal faction. He looks like he has armor, but do I really care? Yeah, there's going to be some interesting fights here too. It's a lumberyard fight. I could grab them into a fight. Maybe movement will be fine. Thinking whether I need to get the fight this episode will be fine next episode as well. They need some time just moving up to the position. They're fine as is. I just want to get this done. Do I want to hit them first? No, I think they'll get dragged in and be just a delegate and be over. They'll die. There oh, okay, they'll die multiple times. Would be assassin, but would be means he's fine. Yes. Okay, we can finally do our stuff. Now, she's not going to get appointed here, so she's actually useless. We can even fire her and just kick her out of the faction. It's totally fine. Um, you. I've been waiting to use you. Call out. Grant family independence. Exactly what we want. Now, he's going to have the flag now. We're going to have more splendor points. It's not refreshed it, but it should happen. I'm going to offer him autonomy, and we're going to look at all the items that Goleon had stashed. Just nothing. I guess they don't have any items. He should have all their money too. Uh, uh, let's see how much cash they have. 4,000, so not much. I, I want land, right? I want the salt for myself. It's worth 20 points, okay. So it ends up that I have to pay for it, which is, which is okay. I have a lot of cash. Okay, I mean, that's okay. What about trade deals? I guess we don't have any open trade assignment, uh, trade agreements available. Okay, we got one more turn until that. We can always try to secure more trade through assignments. He's landlocked. He can only trade with us anyways. I'm probably going to run this army down to just finish off Hopu. Grab that one. They'll fight this war, finish that up, and then we can get this also set up. It's not picking it up yet, but we, we definitely have a family member as a faction leader. He should be providing us 10 points of splendor as it says here. Uh, the next family we're probably going to give away is likely our oldest son here, who is not our heir anymore and thus not very useful for us. He is level 6 though, and I think he is in the main army. That's the tough part. Since he's in the main army, unless we have a suitable replacement for him, which, which I do have a few burn officers that we could utilize. Don't buy also being picked up. We could do kind of a refresh. We can also give up our wife. Who's also not that useful. We could use her as sort of bait in terms of um, marriage bait. Actually, let's take a look. Taran single. Tall P7. Wow, he has grandkids already. Sun Tzu-en's only 12. 
and Sunren's only five. Okay, um, maybe no marriage bait. Yeah, maybe we give her a piece of land just to get her off the faction payroll. She's just kind of doing assignments right now. Not the saddest, though. We'll figure something out. We're obviously going to make more of these, so it's going to it's gonna come from the family tree. Someone. Maybe even... I mean, I, I kind of like... I kind of like him. Own oh, retinue, extra... Yeah. Our other middle child. Construction costs as administrator. He's also just doing assignment. He's hard to keep happy. We've been setting him up as a capture general, but we don't really need that. Yeah, we'll figure something out next time, but it's going well. We have our first actual relative set up. We're going to get a second one going here, and then we'll resume our war with many of these Naman factions. Mulu is down to one piece of land, so it'll be a piece of cake. Um, they will come down here, and then we'll try to peace out with them, and then we're going to turn around and go back to war with Meng Huo and Mulu, uh, pushing against them. So that's kind of the goal. Maybe we'll hit this and that, and then set up the return war with Meng Huo at that time to capture his capital. The army will go to war with Mulu first, wipe him out, and then wipe out Meng Huo. And then we'll basically try to gain control of all the Naman lands, go into Shu, and uh, set up our empire that way. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and see you all next time. Bye!